And you're sharing on your personal page. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Meetup Monday, where I interview different coaches from the team. Today, we have a super special lady with us, Emily. She is a mom of two, a yoga instructor, studio owner, wife, and just all around incredible human. Honestly, we've never met in person, but I know that I would totally just love and adore her and I'm super excited to actually meet her in person in a couple months. And I am excited to have Emily come on here and share her story because she has a very unique perspective, I feel, to bring to coaching, being that she has such a, a big background in health and fitness in the yoga industry and i am just fascinated to to learn and listen and find out how she combines all of that you know the the yoga life the coaching life the mom life and how she manages to balance it she is a total rock star in the community and um, out of you know a team of thousands and thousands of coaches she is consistently one of the top performing coaches month after month after month like not a fluke this girl is incredible month after month, super, super consistent. So welcome, Emily, and I'm so excited to have you. And if you could just start off by telling us a little bit more about you, a little bit more about your life and sort of your background. Yeah, okay. Um, so I have, at the end of this year, I've owned studios for 10 years. I opened the first one 10 years ago and um, didn't have kids then. I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old, almost two-year-old, my and my daughter's right next to me, so if I'm looking over, that's what that is. Um, and so, yeah, just really into health and fitness, always have been, eating really well, um, and just, I just really like helping people. It comes down to, it boils down to, I love helping people. That's awesome. That's Yeah, and I really think that's one reason why you are so successful is that's where your heart truly is, is in helping people, not just, you know, I want to make a million dollars and retire on a beach. It's like, <laughs> I actually legitimately want to help people. And I think that is why we see you succeeding in that and helping so many people. Um, so how did you get started as a coach? Was this, you know, how did you hear about the opportunity? Was this something that you jumped into right away? How, how did that work for you? Yeah, no, I was super stubborn Yay. and I really thought like this is absolutely Yay. not for me. Um, <laughs> with the studios and Yay. with the kids, I thought that I absolutely didn't have enough time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, yeah. one of my students, uh, Shayna, um, approached me about it and I said, no, I, I think what you're doing is really awesome. I think it's great, but I, I just, I have like no time to do this, you know? And she stuck with me and we kept in touch and she ended up moving away and she has kids now and everything. So we had a lot in common. And then I finally, um, you know, I, I followed her on Facebook and then just decided, you know what? I think I'd really like to do this. And I think that this would really work well with how I'm trying to help people. And I told her, I'll try it for a month. And if I hate it, I'll just quit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and um, it's been amazing. I, I, I love it. It's it's so much fun. That's awesome. So yeah, yeah I know I've talked to Shana in the past too, and she's like, Emily told me no for like a year. And yeah, yeah. it was like 15 <laughs> I think months. That's such a great. Yeah. yeah. Say, <laughs> I said it was 15 months. I said no, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. So what were some of your reservations that made you say no for that long? The biggest thing was the time. I really I didn't realize that to coach, you don't need a lot of time. You just need to manage your time well. And um, I think that I just thought that I didn't have the time with the kids and with t teaching yoga and like everything. But you you really even. <laughs> The busiest person can find time, for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So being that you own six studios, which congratulations, that's amazing. Oh, I <laughs> wish I owned six. I have three. I have oh, three. sorry. I thought you said six. Yeah. Okay. Well, three alone is incredible. Yeah. And being <laughs> a mom. And, <laughs> and I know just even scheduling this call, you're like, well, I'm teaching five classes on this day. And, you know, this. so how much time do you work your business a day, would you say, on average? Um, I would say somewhere between an hour to an hour and a half. 
Um, there are some days where it's more and there's some days where it's, it's less. Mm -hmm. um, I would say consistently, I mean, I'm somewhere between an hour or two a day. Definitely, mm -hmm. I definitely don't do, I don't do more than two hours a day. I just, mm -hmm. yeah. I just try to work efficiently. And that's amazing, right? And I think it's it's such a key point that I try and help people understand is this is not like a nine to five where you have to put in eight, 10, 12 hours a day to be successful. Like Emily said, you can legit build an amazing business if you are effective with limited time, which is something that we teach all of our new coaches when they start. So I have to ask you, what were your thoughts on network marketing before you got in? Did you have sort of any um, reservations about it or ideas about what you thought about it? Um, I wasn't like I didn't have any um, negative thoughts about it. I just had never done it before. Uh -huh. I had never done anything like that before. So I just tried to stay really open minded. And then once I learned more and I learned about the community, mm -hmm. the be has and then once I met some of the coaches on our team and I was able to spend time with them and connected with more people I mean that's just been amazing mm -hmm. so I I think it is such a positive experience mm -hmm. awesome and how do, you, how do you sort of balance that with you know being a yoga instructor and a coach how do you combine the two do you feel like it um, benefits your your practice your studio practice i know that's a very much a one-on-one -on -one interaction whereas this is more of a group online experience so do you feel like they complement each other or how does that work i think that they really complement each other especially because of the nutrition hmm. i mean, I found before I was really trying to help my students eat healthier and take care of themselves. And it just, it, I couldn't get it to stick. And it's because I didn't have the right tools. And now I do. Now I have the tools where I can help them. Now I have the tools when they're away from the yoga studio and they're traveling, they're able to do workouts. You know, it just opens up this whole, um, you know, system for them so that they can take care of themselves whatever they need to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know you had shared previously that you had some reservations about trying Shakeology because, you know, you're already a super healthy. Obviously, you, I don't know if you currently are, but you were eating, you know, you've tried raw diets, you've tried vegan, you sort of had your own shake system that you were using and you were pretty hesitant to try Shakeology. So what was your experience with trying that and then helping your students with it as well? Yeah, yeah. So I was super stubborn about it and really felt like I could make my own, you know, <laughs> and, I, and I was doing an okay job with that. But um, it's it really was not the same. And it didn't compare and I couldn't get my hands on the ingredients that Shakeology has. It's just you can't, you can't replicate that, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, I noticed a difference after the first week that I used it. And then three months in, I really saw some significant changes. I mean, hair looked different, skin looked different, muscle tone, energy through the roof, which is great. So um, I'm so glad that I did try it. And I definitely recommend, like, if anyone's watching this and they haven't tried, just commit and try it and you will absolutely feel different. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I totally agree with you, too. I had tried a lot of shakes before, and I was like, huh, they didn't do anything for me. And they literally, like, I, I had, like, five different kinds sitting on my shelf because I was like, maybe <laughs> this one will do it. And I tried it, and I was like, I don't notice any difference, and they taste like crap. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah, yeah, so I totally relate with that. Um, and how has that been sharing it with your studio, with your with your students? Do you so they getting the same kind of results? Yeah, absolutely. It's really, really helped them. And it's so nice for students. Um, like some students practice really early, so they have it after they practice. Some students practice really late and they have it for dinner instead of going home and kind of like, you know, winging it or whatnot. And I have a lot of, we live close to DC, so I have a lot of people that commute. I have a lot of people that travel. Um, you know, they're got, a lot of people go to New York all week and then they're home on the weekend. So I found that it's extremely helpful for them because they're on the go. And it's just like you just shake it and you go. Like it's so convenient and so healthy. 
Right. Yeah, I totally, totally right. I'm like, there are so many times throughout the day where it would be like quick carbs or I can make a shake in like two minutes. <laughs> right. like, but, uh, yeah, absolutely. Hi, cutie. What's your name? Posey. Hi, Posey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, another thing I have to ask is a lot of people when they are thinking about doing something like network marketing, they're really scared about being perceived as being salesy or pushy, um, which I totally relate to is the reason why I was hesitant to get started in the beginning. You know, I share a lot. My husband is an amazing salesman. So I know what that looks like. Huge admiration for people who can do that, but it's totally not a skill of mine. Um, and I know a lot of people really think like, oh, if I'm representing a product like Shakeology or our workouts, then I'm going to be salesy. I'm going to be that like icky person who nobody wants to invite to a party because they're like, oh, my God, she's going to try and sell me something. And that can cause a lot of people to not even get started because they don't want to be that person, which none of us want to be. So what are your, you know, some of your thoughts on this being that you, you, know, you are a studio owner, you are a yoga instructor, you teach your students. Um, but then you have this other side that you offer. Do you ever feel like you're being salesy or pushy with these additional products or services that you have to offer people? Yeah, no. And that, it just comes back to, um, I really, really want people to feel good. I really want them to feel good. And I feel like if you genuinely want to help people, and I completely stand behind the workouts and Shakeology and everything that we're able to help them with and the meal plans, all the tools that we have. I don't feel like I'm selling anything because I want people to feel as good as I do. And like after I had Penelope, it helped me lose, you know, the 30 pounds. So I don't want, if I can help someone, I'm going to talk to them and I'm going to see how I can help them. So if you genuinely want to help people, you never feel salesy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like to be yeah. sold to and I don't like to sell. That's not, not my personality at all. But I, I really love what we're doing so much. It's easy for me to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's such a key point there to remember, right? Because if you're passionate about something, if you're excited about something, then you're going to share. It's, just, it's a naturally natural human instinct to want to sort of spread the love or spread the wealth, right? And and that's how, yeah, for me too, it, it takes away that like I'm just trying to sell you something to make a buck when really it's no, I truly want to help you. I want you to feel as amazing as I do. Like it just kills me to, to talk to people who are feeling, you know, just sick and overweight and frustrated. And it's like, you, you know, we have the tools to help. And that's genuinely where the drive and the motivation comes from. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like if someone is struggling and I don't talk to them, I feel like I'm doing them a disfavor. Uh, it's because it really, what we can help them with and, and what we have to offer is, is just so effective. It's, I feel I feel bad not talking to someone that needs help. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so now I know you have a, more of a studio setting as well, but we use social media to grow our business too. So how how is that for you? You know, how did you show up on social media before you were a coach? Um, and how do you show up now? And, and was it an easy transition or what was that like for you? Yeah, that was pretty easy. I mean, I had to step out of my comfort zone a little before um, coaching. I, I mean, I never would have picture. I never would have posted a picture like in a workout outfit or, or you know, like something like that. So I had to kind of get out of my own way in that respect. But no, that's been really fun, and it's been fun connecting with people on social media as well. Mm -hmm. And. Um, you know, you don't have to have a lot of friends on social media to start with. I actually, before coaching, I was off of Facebook for a year. So even with the studios, I was off for a year. And so um, that, that's, that's actually been an easy transition. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's awesome. So um, another quick question for you. So now I want to talk a little bit about finances, the, the income side of things, which can be kind of uncomfortable for some people. So you don't have to share specifics. Okay. But you know, as coaches, we get paid weekly, which is 
pretty amazing to have that income automatically deposited into your account. So what has that, you know, what has that extra income done for you and your family? I know you've been a coach now for a year and a half. So, so what's that been like that been like for you, that progression um, from new coach to a year and a half later? Yeah. Yeah. So at first it was like, okay, um, making some fun money. Great. Like covering groceries, gas. Um, and then it really was no time. And my husband switched our direct mortgage payment to my account. And so I covered the mortgage every month. And then it was no time and I covered the mortgage and my son's, he goes to Montessori school, my son's Montessori. So that's huge. Like uh, that, that is um, paying for his school and covering our mortgage, knowing that I can cover that consistently. That is a massive weight that, you know, was lifted off our shoulders for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This gives a little bit more breathing room. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that is amazing that we, we can do that. We come in as coaches, right? And it's in the beginning, a lot of people even just get started thinking, I just want to cover my psychology, right? Yeah. You know, most yeah. people don't come in and look at a business like this and think, oh, I'm going to make a million dollars in a year. You know, it's like they come in thinking, I just want to you know, cover my psychology or maybe I want to be able to help out with a few bills or maybe I want to have some fun target money <laughs> that I can spend. You know, and then you see like, oh, I did that. And then it's the next thing. Well, maybe I can cover this. Maybe I can cover the car payment. And then it just builds and builds and builds. And it's amazing to really see that when you stay consistent like you are with just an hour and a half or to two hours a day, what that can do over a year and a half time. Yeah, um, absolutely. If you guys are watching live right now, I just want to let you know you can, um, if you have any questions for either Emily or I, you can post them in the comments and we can see those and get to them. Um, so sort of to summarize, how would you say your life has changed from, you know, a year and a half ago before you were coaching to now? Um, wow, it's changed so much. I've been able to connect with so many people um, and help so many people. I, I have you know, close friends and yoga students that could not get off medication, that couldn't lose weight, that couldn't get pregnant, that, um, you know, I have coaches now that were struggling to meet their bills, you know, and now that they're, they're coaching and they're able to, to provide for their family. So, I mean, just all over, like so many aspects, it's been such a positive experience. And the only thing that I could say is that I'm kicking myself. I didn't do it sooner. I wish that I would have done it sooner, but you know, I'm, I'm so glad that I did. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that that is amazing to, to realize that you can be that positive influence in somebody else's life. And when you can have that courage to just go for it and then to see how many lives that you can touch simply because you made the decision to do it yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And helping someone yeah. getting that message like, oh my gosh, you know, I because I got my weight down and I managed my stress, like I finally got pregnant or something like that. That that one person, that's all I need. That that makes the entire experience worthwhile. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I totally just like got goosebumps. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the messages where I'm like, I'm this, I was supposed, I'm meant to do this, so glad that I'm doing this. Right, yeah, and I, I think that's just such a great point because it, it really emphasizes how much this goes beyond just, you know, a shake and a workout program. Like, it's so much more than that because when you help people make those changes, when they start eating better and they start exercising, they start feeding their mind with positive, you know, information positive material it just it changes everything and it goes so far beyond that like i just want to make a couple bucks from you know selling somebody a program or a shakeology like that's where our where the journey begins and when you can do that when you can be that light and that hope and that you know effector of change for somebody like you said it's like if you can only have one person do that oh my gosh amazing yeah absolutely yeah yeah uh, do you have anything else that you want to add before we wrap up here today? 
I think the only thing that I want to add is if there's anybody watching and you're on the fence and um, maybe you have hesitation and you think that you're, um, you wouldn't be successful or, um, you know, or you wouldn't be able to help people. If I could just encourage people to, to take the leap and make the jump, um, you, you, it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Absolutely. It's, such a great experience all over. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Emily, for joining us today. And I'm super excited to meet you in New Orleans in a couple months. Yes, me too. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Thanks so much.